metering of voltage and current on the high voltage side of the transformer. The current is monitored with a 100 ohm resistor in series with the positive end of the bridge rectifier in the transformer bucket. This will provide you with one volt of output for every 10 milliamps of secondary current. So 30 milliamps would be 3 volts out of the uh, center of the current BNC. The voltage BNC is connected right now to this voltmeter and the current BNC is to this panel meter. If you have a high voltage probe, such as a Fluke ADK40, you can remove the uh, plastic collet from one of the high voltage connectors and stick the probe in. This will make physical contact with the uh, electrical center conductor. The banana jacks of the probe will then plug into the high voltage probe socket of the transformer output and this will connect that to the meter through this BNC cable. Running some tests on the output. Increasing the output current. I'm going to draw an arc from the primary. This is not ballasted right now. So you can see that's drawing about uh, 26 milliamps on the secondary and this is at around uh, 20 volts AC on the primary. So as you can see this uh, output current will increase drastically at higher voltages. So when running at higher voltages it's recommended to use a ballast until you can uh, ensure that there are no arcs uh, that are going to be drawn from the output. And of course always keep the e-stop button within uh, reach when operating. The high voltage probe is now displaying the output voltage on uh, the meter, as you can see there. So drawing another arc. You can see the variation in current with arc length. And of course it's recommended not to exceed, not to operate the transformer at such a high output current like 30 milliamps continuously because this will cause thermal damage to the windings. Um, 5 milliamps I've, opera I've operated in the 5 uh, milliamp range, 10 milliamps um, pretty much continuously. I have operated the transformer at 30 milliamps for uh, short periods of time to take tests on the fuser and it will certainly uh, survive that for short periods of time but do not uh, sustain that output because x-ray transformers are designed to be intermittently operated and that would cause uh, overheating the winding and probably trip a breaker if sustained. Now the uh, output of the system runs through a bridge rectifier. These diode strings, the x-ray tra transformer is configured with two uh, secondary windings that are center tapped and connected in anti-parallel. These will generate uh, plus or minus 50 kV uh, simultaneously. So at 50 kV output that would be uh, 100 kilovolts across the diodes. The diodes in here are rated at 150 kilovolts and 15 milliamps. Now since this is a center tap transformer each pair of diodes in the rectifier is only uh, conducting half of the time, so this would be 30 milliamps, the diodes would be rated at a maximum of 30 milliamps. The x-ray transformer of course should not be run at this high current 